Friday, Weinstein might have a case against Rose McGowan for her Twitter rape accusations. While it would be a monumentally bad public relations move, Harvey Weinstein's lawyers could go after actress Rose McGowan for her recent comments on Twitter accusing the fallen movie mogul of rape. Sadly for his alleged victims, he might even have a case against her and others who are speaking out. McGowan said in a series of tweets aimed at Amazon's Jeff Bezos cat, I told the head of your studio that H.W. Harvey Weinstein raped me. Over and over I said it. He said it hadn't been proven. I said I want the proof. According to the New York Times in 1997, McCowan reached the $100,000 settlement with Weinstein over an incident in a hotel room. Standard legal language in the contract stated that the settlement could not be construed as an admission, but more importantly, many, all, of Weinstein's alleged victims were asked to sign non-disclosure agreements. These agreements prohibit women, like McCowan, from saying anything about what happened or mentioned the fact that the case was settled privately. We got further proof that McCowan was under such an agreement with Weinstein when she initially refused to reveal her identity to Ronan Arrow, who wrote that bombshell report in the New Yorker about Harvey Weinstein's very sordid past. She cited legal reasons, if he wanted to, Weinstein could certainly bring suit against Rowan, and even try to recover some of the settlement money he paid her. This appears to be a breach of contract on her part, however. Such a move would be incredibly bad public relations for him. Although Weinstein will have the very best legal representation, I would agree that the headwinds against him prevailing in any NDA enforcement suits will be quite strong. Keith Stein, the New York-based contracts attorney, told LawNews.com, Of course, desperate men do desperate things, but the PR against him trying that approach will make him appear even more degenerate. As of now, it already appears that it doesn't matter what any one person may be alleging. Rose. For example, in violation of an NDA, because multiple government and law enforcement agencies are already investigating. Potential witnesses in those investigations are protected in revealing what they know, notwithstanding their contractual obligations to Weinstein as the article rightly points out. Also, if any of these women wanted to go to police, the non-disclosure agreement would not prevent them from doing so. He could not legally enforce the NDA and silence her. That would be against public policy, Stein said.